Hello. So, yeah, I had very much coffee and Coca-Cola. And I'm going to switch to water and juice and slowly become uh, stupid as I fall asleep. So it, it is 1 minute to 6 p.m. and I just farted and um, I had 6 hours sleep. I woke up around 11.30. Everything's turned down, all the effects. This is uh, basic guitar, I guess. It seems to have some sustain. Oh, that's probably what this is. So if we go all the way over here. Okay, that makes sense. So this thing is sustained. cigarettes I have out of my pocket and it, this weird thing happens this happens in general I basically never know how many cigarettes I actually have and sometimes it seems like half a pack has disappeared and I buy it by the carton and sometimes it seems like half the carton has disappeared uh, but I'm cutting back <laughs> particular setup with the guitar uh, doesn't like that. Do it like that. No. 
don't want to do it like that. Okay, usually this isn't so hard. I don't know. So the thing that I thought was G6 was G major 7 and G7. the song. I can't see with my glasses down like that. Ah. So that's the G's we have, I believe. Did we really do A minor? So it's just surprising because I always go through the G's so quickly. D major seven is probably my favorite D. Even at even even though the lower half of my guitar is sounding off to me right now, um, I guess I could tune, but I uh, I think it's fine. Like. Sounds right. Um, anyways, that was the G, so let's do some C's. to each other, you, you can't help but want to play them. I, I, 
I don't know the plate weight. Just I I uh, I was afraid to cat, and I went to the easy G, G major. <laughs> so yeah. Uh huh. So C C C C C C C major. Oh uh, yeah. C seven. Which is basically this. saying this but it, sometimes I feel like I want to my girlfriend can stay my parents can stay but like all my friends just several ties I mean yeah I don't know I don't want to like bitch them out or anything or um, I don't want to uh, tell them off but just like say okay that was my teenage years, that was my 20s, now this is my 30s, and I have new friends. And then I read some article that said, like, keep your friends that you made in your teenage, early 20s, uh, because basically you will stop making new friends after you turn 30. And it was an article that really, like, rubbed me the wrong way. It was saying all this stuff that I disagreed with. But just the, the power of that statement um, filled me with fear. So, yeah, I do hope I get uh, new friends at least, and I'm not going to discard my old friends, because that would be stupid. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, when we were on the floor, we were confused if B major uh, started here or here. Wait, have I gone through all the C's? I think so. So it turns out B major starts on the second fret, and then it's... I mean, this is the only way I can think of doing it, but <laughs> let's try this. package uh, playing this chord like you know when you have like a whole bunch of shopping bags and you're just barely holding on that's what it feels like so part of the trick of B major I've come to realize is not only pushing down with your uh, finger for the bar but also pushing against the other side with your thumb at least that helped me so B7, which doesn't look that difficult, but it actually is kind of difficult, right? I've had troubles with it. So, let's try this. wasn't able to sustain it. Uh, F, need my glasses, F7.
Bass slapping usually sounds nice, especially plucking one note at a time. Um, and it was, even though it's the same kind of area as the D's, it sounded better to me. Um, that's just my personal opinion, which I'm supposed to keep to myself. Uh, okay, so let's look at the second page of my practice, which of course uh, I included the notation for this even though I haven't memorized. tired. <laughs> Sorry. So, like, there's, le uh, there's uh, levels of memorization, and when you're tired, you kind of sink down a level or two. Um, like, I don't think I'll ever forget E. Uh, fuck. I think this is... I think it's E minor. I think. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> So, uh, at least the fingering, I'll never forget this one. Unless, like, seven, something happened, I completely stopped playing guitar starting tomorrow. Ten years pass, someone says, oh, I heard you play guitar, and then they ask me, and then in that case, there's a good chance I won't remember. I, I, I basically don't remember anything about piano. And I got pretty far um, in, you know, being taught by someone else. Like, this is self-teaching. I'm not sure how they're different. It's, I, I can't really compare them. I can't speak to it, but anyways. Yeah, so uh, we did those three things. Uh, by three things, I'll show you how this is different. Two ways. So see, you either it's either this or this. Small difference, but I guess that's like beginner beginner level level stuff. And this wants me to start at the fifth fret. And do that weird thing. It's it's really awkward, but I think it's supposed to be awkward just to teach me dexterity. play video games. I was uh, of the era of Super Nintendo and uh, you start playing them so much people start talking about hand-eye coordination and you're like what are you talking about? I've just played a video game. But then you realize yes it does require you're holding a controller and it requires you to not really look at what you're pressing on the controller but control what's on the screen. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, the, the secondary way I have of practicing this, which doesn't really teach me anything, is just go... Maybe 
that is a chord. Maybe, maybe there's a name for that chord. I don't know. I, I never actually tried strumming it. I wonder what that sounds like. No, <laughs> that's not something that's meant to be heard, unless you're doing some weird experimental thing. Uh, so. I'm gonna say, I, I keep forgetting if it's the pinky on top or the pinky on bottom, but this is another one where you want to push with your thumb. Let's get rid of this. And then we're supposed to move to this. Push with my thumb. So I'm worried about the third and the fourth, but I'm having trouble with the second. bizarre, like I was working on, I've been working on the 7th fret more than the 5th fret for the exact same fingering, but despite the fact that I've kind of accomplished the 7th fret, it, this is part of a song by the way, I just feel I have to say that every time, because it's kind of a radical departure from the other stuff I'm working on. Yeah, this one's this one's kind of easier for me to do, and it's the exact same thing ring, just further down the board, and I have more difficulty. And um, I can't really say anything about that, except it must be from blunt repetition that <laughs> most of these uh, most of these chords are required. too because I I don't want to be like <laughs> stuck uh, stuck on a lot of things you know having one correct and three wrong in a row I feel that would be it would be uh, I, I, some people would try to learn that way but I don't want to try to learn that way but it does also mean that by the time I get the fourth one in the progression uh, the first one will be super easy, and it will get progressively harder. But then I just, when I'm at that point, I have to repeat, repeat, repeat. And, uh, yeah, um, a, lot of, a lot more respect for actual musicians now that I'm trying to learn this. But, and also, before I tried to th learn this, I already knew it was something very hard. to this guitar, maybe somehow the magic uh, 
I don't, I don't know how to talk about magic. And it's, I used to play D&D, it's weird. But D&D kind of leads into atheism in a way, um, or just the fact that my parents are, um, I'll just say godless, I don't know. I don't think they, I, they're never really said to be, I, I'm an atheist, but yeah, they're just non-religious. I heard this number, uh, something like, basically the millions, how many millions of people are Christian? And I forget if it was like a number or a per percentage, but I, I guess, I mean, I guess there's a chance that like only 3% of the world are Christian, or like, I think Jews have low numbers. I think it goes like Christian, Islam, Jew, in terms of like how many. But then I remember when I was younger, it was like Christian, Jew, Islam, but that may have been in terms of like how accepted by the general population they are. Oh, wow, I actually said it politically correct without struggling too much. Sorry. Now, I don't, I, I'm, I'm actually interested in um, the topic, so I feel I'm allowed to talk about it as a non-believer without being offensive. At least I hope. to be religious but <laughs> I go through like I go through the Bible and stuff and like it becomes important to me and uh, more recently I've started to have like religious delusions uh, I think I've told everyone who needs to know about them <laughs> psychiatrist is very uh, accepting of, uh, well, I'll just, there's different umbrellas you could put it under, but I'll umbrella, put it under the umbrella of anti-psychiatry. So she's, um, like, I don't know, she knows it's been like X number of years before, since I've even had a psychiatrist. And that, for someone with my mental illness, uh, I probably should have a psychiatrist. But my life was going better without one. Um, so she knows I'm sensitive about uh, her line of work affecting my life. Um, so she's been... Uh, um, she's helped... I, my brain is losing power, but basically she's uh, trying to show me that interacting with the psychiatrist isn't that bad. At least that's how I perceive uh, the sessions I've had with her, and I've only had two sessions. And uh, both of them started off with me being very defensive or even offensive uh, about the fact that I did not want to have a psychiatrist. I, I'm basically talking to no one, but... <laughs>
Basically, uh, giving my all in terms of pushing. Um, and the notes sound a bit clearer because I'm pushing, but the side effect is it's basically every second I push is another second that it's going against my fingers, and I'm not stopping pushing when I'm talking. show you is little indents in my fingers. I don't know if you can see them, but if you can, uh, the indents are now in more than one place. Let's do F7. It's like my favorite of the new chords. <laughs> all the way up. Anyways. Yeah, so that's that. And uh, I feel a little bit sad that the video is ending, I guess just because it's gone on for so long. Uh, but maybe that means I have more energy to do another one. Tomorrow, uh, in a few hours. Mm -hmm.